<laughs> hey, what is up, mortals? It is I, the Spirit of Vice, here with a new video for you today. Welcome to part four of What If Deku Was a Green Lantern? I just wanted to greet you guys by saying sit back and relax. You're in for a treat. So we begin. It had been a few days since the entrance exams, and Midoriya still hadn't gotten any news on his status. Of course, with 23 points, Zuku was somewhat doubtful as to whether or not he passed, but he still hated the process of waiting. What was he supposed to do in the meantime? Make sure he didn't apply to somewhere else in the event he did get in? It was maddening. But finally, something came in the mail. Izuku! It's here! His mother yelled, racing into the living room while clutching a white envelope. It didn't take a genius to figure out what was in it. Oh, I can't open it in here! I'm going to my room! Izuku yelled as he snatched the letter from his mother's hands and ran to his bedroom, locking the door behind him. He couldn't bear the thought of her seeing that he failed. It was better to tell her himself. Opening the letter, he pulled out a hologram projector and placed it on his desk, waiting with bated breath as it began playing. Greetings, young Midoriya! All might? The boy muttered, taking a step back before grinning like a madman. It was too good to be true. The one recording his acceptance or rejection was the number one hero. Did this mean that THE All Might would be working at UA? You can probably guess with just my presence here, but yes, I am teaching at UA. But this isn't about me. Let's get to your results. The hero's smile grew wider as his bright eyes began shining with joy as he continued. You did exceptionally well on the written portion. And you weren't too shabby during the practical either, with your 23 points. Sadly, that wasn't enough to get you in the hero course. What? You're kidding, right? Poor Izuku was crestfallen looking as if he might cry any second now. On his finger, the ring containing Ion began shining, as if signaling that the entity was going to speak. Fortunately, that wasn't the only criteria on the exam. Only for All Might to beat him to it. The young Green Lantern's face immediately morphed into one of comedic shock. Say what? He screeched, undoubtedly scaring the daylights out of his mother. What kind of hero school would we be if we didn't look at your altruism as well? And what better way to measure that than with rescue points? Suddenly, the recording of All Might changed to a recording of the young girl that he had saved during the entrance exam walking up to present Mike. Um, excuse me, she said as the hero turned around. Um, so I was saved during the exam by a boy with curly green hair and freckles. Uh, he looked pretty plain, but... Oh, uh, he was wearing a green ring. Yes, I know the one! Present Mike replied while nodding. Yeah, so, uh, he saved me during the exam, and I was just wondering, if he didn't get in, could you maybe please give him some of my points? I doubt I would be here if he hadn't stepped in. So, he definitely deserves to be in the hero course. The video froze and began shrinking until it was just a little image in the corner of the original recording, with All Might now staring at where it was. As you can see, helping people out is a pretty heroic thing to do. And not only did you save her from the zero pointer, you went back to look for other people trapped in the city. Heck, you even fought the dang thing when you realized it would keep causing problems. And though this doesn't influence the decision at all, I really love the way you beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Izuku chuckled. Of course, All Might liked the giant All Might mech that took down the Zero Pointer. Now with a combination of your 23 villain points and 60 rescue points you have... The video then changed to a scoreboard, with Izuku's name at the top. The highest score this year with a grand total of 83 points! Congratulations, young Midori. Your Hero Academia starts here! All Might announced with a bright smile. His eyes shining with the type of pride one saw in a parent seeing their child exceed against all odds. Whether this was something that All Might felt for all new first years or something reserved just for those who excelled in the entrance exam, Izuku didn't know. And he didn't care. I... I... I did it! Izuku bellowed out in delirium, tears falling down his face as his dream was finally coming true. Ah! From outside his room, he heard his mother fall over in fear evidently having been freaked out by his sudden yell. All right, got my pencils, 
some notebooks in case we start lessons today, a water bottle, my hero notebooks for construct reference. Am I forgetting something? Izuku asked his ring. Why are you asking me? I'm a godly alien whale, and even if I was born here, I spent most of my life in a giant lantern battery on a planet millions of miles away from here. My only exposure to the concept of school is from your memories. I literally have no idea what to expect from this. Same as you. Oh, <laughs> right. Izuku rubbed his head in awkwardness. Well, let's just go. I'm sure they'll be lenient on the first day at least. Wait, Izuku! The young Midoriya turned his head around at the sound of his mother's voice. The woman in question was standing behind him, gasping for breath. M mom are you okay? I, I'm fine. She gasped out. I... I... I just... I wanted you to know how proud I am of you, son. His eyes began to water. Ma... But Inko interrupted him. Ever since we learned that you were quirkless, I... Uh, well, ever since that night, when I told you that I was sorry, I've always felt horrible about that. You were desperate at that time, and I just rejected your dream. So when you told me that your quirk came so suddenly all those months ago, I wasn't sure what to say at the time. As much as I hate to say it, a part of me is still worried that you wouldn't be able to be a hero. It's not that I think you can't do it, but I came to the conclusion that you were so far behind everyone else that you wouldn't be able to get into UA. Her eyes started leaking as she looked her son dead in the eye. But then you did get in. Now I... I... Oh, Mom! Izuku walked over and embraced his mother. It's not your fault. I didn't even work at it aside from wanting to do it. There was nothing for you to believe in, let alone approve of. But it's fine. Now, with my emerald light and green ring support item, I'm even stronger than Kachan. He's gonna be a great hero, right? You're right, dear. You and Katsuki are gonna be great heroes. His mother smiled, grateful for his answer, and blissfully unaware of how semi-truthful her son was being. In truth, Inka Midoriya was lied to by her son so that her sanity could remain intact. Had he been fully honest and told her that his ring and newfound powers were the result of a little blue alien and some sort of deific whale, and that he and Bakugo hadn't been friends since they were four, although the bullying had stopped ever since they started sparring due to Izuku's newfound powers, powers that he had gotten good at using and consequently earned a new form of begrudging respect from Katsuki, she surely would have had a breakdown, emotionally and mentally. All right. I really have to go now. I don't want to be late on my first day, Izuku said, breaking off the hug and smiling at his mother. I, I know. Good luck, dear. You'll do great. I know it. Okay. Bye, Mom. I love you, Izuku said as he rushed out the door. Okay. 1A. 1A. Why is this place so big? Izuku had arrived to UA with a few minutes to spare, only to discover that the campus was far larger than he had expected. He really wished that there was some sort of site map to help him out here. Wait a minute! I got it! This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Staying safe online is an ever-growing difficulty and hackers could exploit you. NordVPN allows you to change your IP address, making you harder to track, securing your privacy. In addition to providing you with safe passage through the web, you can also expand the reach of your favorite streaming services. Are you tired of going through two, three, or even four streaming services to watch your favorite anime? Well, with NordVPN, you can change your country and be able to binge shows like My Hero Academia, Naruto, and many others on your favorite streaming services with just the press of a button. Check out the link in the description to get 72% off when buying for two years at $3.29 a month. This deal is for a limited time. And thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. With a bit of clever thinking, Izuku came up with a solution. Using his ring, he created a group of small cookie-shaped robots something that he had seen in an old movie as a kid. With a simple mental order, he sent them out across the halls and commanded them to return once they had located 1A. It took less than a minute before they returned and led their creator to this destination, which was marked by a freakishly huge door. Why is it so big? Is it to accommodate people with transformative and mutant quirks? It was almost intimidating, but Azuku had long since grown from the timid boy that would cower at the sight of such a thing. While he was nervous in general, he wasn't going to keep accepting the dregs in life. He had long since decided that he would make what he wanted happen. With a deep breath, he opened the door to his future. Take your feet off the desk this instant! Have you no respect for our upperclassmen? And he was met with the sight of that uptight boy from the entrance exam reprimanding his former bully about classroom etiquette. The hell are you going on about, you elitist prick? Bakugo sneered, making the Ingenium lookalike flinch. Uh, Let's start over. 
I'm Tenya Ida from Somai Private Academy. The now named Ida said, while extending his hand. Kotsky merely scoffed at the boy. <laughs> Somai, huh? No wonder you're so uptight, you friggin' elitist. I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. Crushed? You really wish to call yourself a hero with an attitude like that? This is gonna be a long year, isn't it? Izuku thought as he let out a melancholic sigh. Hey! You're that boy who saved me from the Zero Pointer! Instantly, all eyes were on Izuku as a loud voice proclaimed their enthusiasm at meeting him. Turning around, Izuku saw that it was indeed the girl he rescued during the exam, who he had been hoping to meet again. Ah, it's you! Unfortunately, he never got the chance, as that Tenya guy proceeded to interrupt the interrupter, walking over to Midoriya at a quickened pace before... extending his hand? Al Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm... Tenya Bita from Somai Private Academy. I overheard you say it to Bakugo. Izuku stated, cutting him off. Ah, of course. In any case, I just wanted to congratulate you on your superiority to me. Uh, come again? You were able to deduce the hidden rescue portion of the entrance exam, something I completely failed to comprehend. Because of that, you are the superior student, not to mention the way you acted when confronting the Zero Pointer. How you faced it so fearlessly. You're the epitome of heroism. Thank you? Midoriya paused, not sure how to respond to Ida's words. But, but I didn't know anything about the rescue portion. I just saw that someone needed help and stepped in to save them. He explained. Hmm. Tenya paused taking a moment to process what he'd been told. In the end, he could only come to one conclusion. I see. Then you really are the better student. Before they could take the conversation any further, a new voice spoke up. If you're only here to make friends, I suggest you leave now. Turning around yet again, Class 1A looked to the hall, where they saw something truly bizarre. So bizarre was this sight that all 20 students had the exact same thought in their heads. Is that a flippin' hobo? Outside the classroom was what looked like a yellow caterpillar with a human head, though this was only a sleeping bag, evident by the fact that it stood up, unzipped, and birthed a full-grown man wearing black clothes and a gray scarf. Walking inside, the man addressed the class. I'm your homeroom teacher, Shota Aizawa. Now, he made his way to the front of the room and stood in front of the chalkboard, his eyes boring into the students. It took you far too long to shut up. I won't fly in the real world, he stated before pulling out a uniform. Put these on and meet me out in the field, and try to make it under ten minutes. <clears throat> For reasons he didn't know, Izuku couldn't help but gulp in terror. Eight minutes, huh? Not bad, but room for improvement. Regardless, let's get started. Midoriya, please step into the circle. Izuku did as he was told, catching a ball that Aizawa threw at him once he made it to his destination. How was your record in junior high? Aizawa asked. Um, around 55 meters or so? Their teacher nodded. This time, use your quirk to launch the ball as far as possible. Anything goes as long as you don't leave the circle. All right, Sensei. Izuku responded before thinking for a moment. What construct would work here? If the point of the exam was to get the ball as far as possible, then putting a small rocket and having it fly into space might work. But would space be an acceptable benchmark? If the goal was to get it to travel as far as possible vertically, then horizontal distance might be disregarded. Then that left... Oh, I have the perfect idea! Izuku thought. Holding the ball in his outstretched palm, Izuku began forming a small, old-timey plane in the air beneath it. He then dropped the ball into it, and it flew into the horizon. Say, Sensei, how far is good enough? I mean, I can keep this up pretty much all day, Midoriya said while turning his head to Aizawa. Aizawa glanced down at the little pad he was holding before he responded. In that case, you can bring it back now. You've done what I was hoping anyway. All right. Izuku responded before willing the plane back to him, dematerializing it as it was moving so he caught the ball as it was falling. A thousand kilometers. Not half bad. In contrast to Aizawa's emotionless expression, the majority of the class had shocked faces. Seeing Izuku's power in an unrestricted way excited them with the hope that they too would be allowed to use their quirks in fun ways. You will each be partaking in eight tests designed to measure your physical fitness capabilities, but you'll be encouraged to use your quirks through the whole thing. As children, I'm sure you were taught that all people are created equal, but that's irrational. Quirks have a wide range of capabilities, and it's just a fact of life that some of you are better than the others. These tests are supposed to help you find out where you really stand in comparison to everyone else. So give it your all. Wait, what about orientation? The gravity girl asked. 
Irrelevant. Here at UA, we teachers have complete freedom in how we run our classroom. And we don't have time to waste on pointless ceremonies. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! A pink-skinned girl with horns shouted as Aizawa was speaking, making the teacher turn to her. Fun, huh? Is that how you're gonna spend the next three years here? Well, how about this, then? Whoever gets last place will be deemed as having no potential and expelled. Wh what The whole class shouted in both indignation and rage. Oh, this isn't fair! We just got here! Surely there's some policy about expulsions on the first day! Izuku spoke up, slightly surprising himself, but holding his ground regardless. Oh, and you're saying villain attacks or natural disasters are? I thought you picked it up earlier. Life's unfair. Get used to it. Learning how to adapt and respond to unplanned disasters. That's what heroes do. And if you want to survive your next three years here, you better learn how to do it. That's the plus ultra way. Concluding his threat, Aizawa began listing off the various tests they were going to do, starting with a 50-meter dash. Yet another human that would make a good yellow lantern, Ion said as Midoriya and Bakugo were stretching at the starting line. Izuku, not wanting to lose focus by engaging the conversation, merely nodded his head lightly, which Bakugo noticed. Talking to that space god, huh? Well, don't think it can help you forever. One of these days, I'm going to beat you. And it starts right here! Go! The robotic announcer screamed. <laughs> With a deathly scream, Bakugo blasted off at top speed. While he'd never tested the full extent of his explosions, he was sure that he would excel at 1.1 seconds. Before Bakugo even realized it, Izuku had already crossed the finish line before him sporting a jet turbine on his back that blew him to the finish line with ease. He was so stunned that he almost fell out of the air, barely catching himself at the last moment and finishing with a score of 4.44 seconds. <laughs> you can try and beat me if you want, Bakugo, but like you said, I have a space god on my side, and we don't intend on losing to some second-rate yellow, Midoriya declared, glaring at Bakugo while an emerald aura surrounded him. <laughs> Thank you all for indulging yourselves with this information thus far. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, there are a few things I'd like to go over before the video ends. Firstly, I'd like to thank our patrons. BD Flames, Ethan Davis, Terry Chills, Shifter Meals, Adam Zagel, Zill, XAVBeat03, and Joshua Phelps. Secondly, I'd like to thank all our YouTube members. Toya Costa, Rob the King, Zithlord906, CF2364 and Knuckles, Rimuru Tempest, Angel Juarez, Donald C. Stewart, Bryant Greer, and Demonetized Fox. Thirdly, if you're in the mood for some great storytelling, We the Celestials has you covered. We the Celestials, My Hero Academia, and Naruto What If channels retell the story of their namesake animes with a twist. Check it out if you're interested. Fourthly, on behalf of We the Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in today's excellent content production. Their details can be found in the description below. Lastly, if you're interested in what we do here at We the Celestials, I'd like to extend an invitation to join the team. The only caveat is that we only accept members who are 16 years old or older to join our crew. You can sign up for whichever category fulfills your interest by joining the recruitment discord using the link in the description below. We're always looking for members to join us. Well. That's it from us today. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, I've been the Spirit of Ice telling all of you to have a great day.